Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 episode 11 of a Wonderful Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just finished watching something that I'm like hella confused about, and I'm like... <laughs> The hiking club went up there. Now here's my big question. Why was the hiking club going up there? This it couldn't be me. This ain't no layback camp, nah. It could have been Kirby. You think it's Bigfoot? You mean gotta gotta? Well, the arena. Okay, then why don't we go check it out this weekend? The question is, like, what is something, what is an animal that is so big? Well, it could be a bear. Yeah? All right. Get your predictions in. It's a bear. Uh, and let's see, it's everyone else who was already seen this episode. It's a bear, ain't it? <laughs> it is a bear. Mm-hmm. I'm not commenting on it. <laughs> the one thing I love about having my Apple Watch when I can instantly see something, even though my phone does not do not disturb. <laughs> There's the third wheel. <laughs> Me, Cody, and my future boyfriend. <laughs> Cause Cody would literally be like, yeah, nobody touches mommy. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Girl. You can squirrel. Mm -hmm. 
Right? I mean, y'all just running around. No, his little cup is so cute. Huh? Hmm? <gasps> oh. See, that's the thing. We still don't really know. As I said, it is something big, so it could be anything. Like I said, the only thing I can instantly think of is a bear. <laughs> this is a Anya type move. Good job, Roha. No, no, no. I, I, thank you. They live in the ocean, not the mountains. You gotta think of more land type creatures, my baby girl. Squirrels are small, not not big. Sea lion also lives in the ocean, babe. Mole lives kind of really underground, and the other not really that big. Orca. Ocean. Huh? Why is he just so freaking sweet? I. <laughs> Once again, their, their little cute little moments. These are the things that I wanted in Delicious Party. That we kind of got, but just not as much. Nuh-uh. Cutie. They're mushrooms. Not by yourself. Oh. No, it's just people. See? Hmm. 
It's funny that it says the three ladies. I never would have thought. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. So, but it, but it makes me wonder, how long has you given a human girl a secretly transformer and it's like that, babe? What if we get to see it, her transformer? Oh my god, if we do. And there's none now. That is a little weird. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the eggshells. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say it? Didn't I call it? Because what else would it have been? This is like the second time we're hearing this person's voice, but yeah, or is this like the first? Because, no, it has to be like the second. You're like, 
like, hey, Yuki, I saw this really pretty girl. <laughs> Yuki like, well, oh. Because my thing is this. When the heck did she get her pack then? So you're telling us she got it, what, sometime last week? Once again, I mean, is there a possibility that we're going to see her transformation today? Maybe not. I would say mm, next week, per se, or week after, but... It is a little weird. I like the way they're doing it, though. Claps around. Remember, show dominance. Like, you know, put your hands up and be like, ah! <laughs> huh? Blow. I think it's scared. Yeah.
No. Thank you, no wings. Oh my god. <laughs> See, I'm now just trying to figure out what the reference to Star Twinkle was. It had to be the moment where Yuki, as a human, met her owner and such, or there's something else. Oh, she's so pretty like that. She taking it. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, <laughs> over here doing that. It's like your Cosmo, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Girlie is over here. She is she's doing the ish and I fucking love it. Like she she was just over here like I am going to kick ass and take names today. Like everybody is just gonna be like, Yes, look at me and all of me. Like, damn, like yes, I am the baddest bitch of the show and she is. She knows she is like Excuse me? Girl. The last time I like a character had some good behind energy like that besides Laura is Cure Cosmo in a nutshell. It, it's always the cat characters. The cat characters in Pretty Cure have this like the best personalities. I'm sorry. Like they, they just like yes, I am the baddest. Like, yes, look at me. Bad bitch. Like, yeah. No, like seriously, that ass. But it would be funny because she's not voiced by her. She's completely voiced by somebody else. I gotta go back and look at that list again. Um, she can invade your feels too she she also gets feels too the way especially in that moment you know that one moment in the sailor moon manga slash also when it was animated in sailor moon crystal when like tuxedo mask came in and such that's one another moment that i can think of from crystal is literally the first time you meet sailor uranus and sailor neptune and they're just like off leaving like the bad fucking bitches they are just her just standing in front of the moon I, I love it it's everything I wanted and more oh my god but already she is very much um standoffish it gives me vibes of like um Yuzakuro from Tokyo Mew Mew because like Zakuro was very much like that um, even though I didn't finish the new version of Tokyo Mew Mew, we're, we're not really gonna, we're never gonna talk about that, cause. <sighs> yeah, maybe one day I'll end up finishing that. Not today, though, but one day. <laughs> one day! For, you know, for the, for the stadium that I have a crush on. Um, specifically, cause, duh. <laughs> cause he's fine as I don't know what. Um. But yeah, she like it. It wouldn't be real. Well, no, it would be a mixture of both. 
new Tokyo Mew Mew Zakuro and then old Tokyo Mew Mew Zakuro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's also like maybe a little bit of like how Cure Twinkle was in Go Princess, especially her initial introduction and how she was like, I'm only doing this for one episode. And, you know, Mermaid and Flora were like, oh, wait, like, hold up. You're supposed to do this with us. And she's like, I'm sorry, I have too much to do and such. She also gives, like, hella vibes to, like, St. Tail. Once again, like, I, I love it. I, I love it. And I'm just so excited for next week. So we are definitely seeing transformation next week. Thank you, God. 11 weeks. Of seeing friendly. <laughs> seeing these two and their transformations. Love them. 10 out of 10. But I, I'm ready to move on. Still 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm ready to see just the iconic Yuki. Because Yuki is about to be iconic. Like, hella iconic. And I'm here for it. Like, it, it would be really funny... If they do it kind of similar to Cosmos, but just still different at the same time and such. I mean, because with Cosmo, Cosmo was very much, like, the master of disguise and such. I don't think Yuki is like that, but they could do something to pay homage to her. If they wanted to, but I digress. We won't know until next Saturday, but... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode 11 of The Wonderful Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Uh, uh, subscribe. <laughs> also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matching Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 12. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.